the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. The readings of today you know, is, I believe, very fitting on what we are trying to accomplish a thanksgiving for my 25 years in vows uh, and the start of our vocation promotion month or vocation month. Marami nagtatanong, sabi nila, Father, bakit parang kulang? Because you were ordained 2005. You know? But it is not about the ordination. It is the vows. Being a religious missionary. As an SVD, nung kami pa after novitiate, ayan, nag-profess na po kami ng vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience here in this very chapel. And um, when I was preparing for my homely, I can't help but remember one of my favorite stories in life with regard to vocation and mission. And of course, here in the words of Jesus, the word consecration and mission or being sent into the world. The story of the bamboo, yung meron daw tatlo, tatlong puno ng kawayan, three bamboos growing up together. And then one day, the men of the king came into where the bamboos were planted. At sabi nung isa sa mga kawayan, what are they doing here? And then they cut one of the bamboos. At sabi nung dalawa, aba mukhang maganda ang pupuntahan ng kasama natin because he was cut by the men of the king. And lo and behold, you know, the bamboo ended up as part of the throne of the king. Yung trono na inuupuan ng hari. And so every time the king will call for an audience, the people can't help but notice the beauty of the bamboo used for the throne or for the chair of the king. And then after some time, meron na uling dumating doon sa pinagtatanima ng mga kawayan. And uh, this time, ito naman ay mga tauhan ng obispo, men of the bishop. And then ganun pa rin, the impression was, ah, something good will happen to this bamboo. And lo and behold, it was used as an ornament or the frame no, para sa painting ng uh, portrait of the bishop kasi the bishop is about to retire. And so every time people see that painting of the bishop, they can't help but notice the frame. And then, the remaining bamboo was there for quite some time. And then one day, a farmer came. And the bamboo was a little bit worried because he said, what will happen to me? It is only a farmer. But then, he found out that the farmer will use him with, or farmer will use him in a special purpose. And that is to become channel. Alulod. Na parang agusa ng tubig. No? From a spring no? to the village. Wherein the villagers started to enjoy fresh water coming from the spring. And also watering their plant. And I said, well, my life is like this bamboo wherein God called me for a purpose. 
But at first, He cleansed me and prepared me, consecrated me to embrace this kind of life. I was a village boy, a young boy. I've experienced so many things in life, the different realities. I grew up in a small place. Our house is near the market. Kaya batang palengke. But also, we are farmers. So I also grew up farming. Coffee, banana, mango, mga Indian mango. And also, when I was in fourth year, you know, my father died. And so I have to work. Ang naging trabaho ko ay, I, I, I was a collector of the water bills. So I go around the village and collect the payment no, sa bayad sa tubig. But also God called me to be an SVB. And as I said, I was called by God, consecrated, and also sent to the mission. I spent 16 years in Hong Kong. And you know, as we're planning about this month, every week we have different focus on the different zones where SVD missionaries are working. This week is the Asia-Pacific zone. And I told my partner, Father Noy, na why not um, allow me to celebrate my Mass as an opening? Well, it was, or it is my 25th year in vows and also experience working in Asia, Pacific Zone, particularly in Hong Kong, in China, where our founder sent his first missionaries, Father Saint Joseph, Frenadimitz, and father, who later on became a bishop, John von Anzer. They were sent first to Hong Kong, spent two years there before they were sent to the mainland China. And I was so privileged and blessed to work with the people whom the first SVBs were sent. I studied the language, the culture, and I live with these wonderful people, kind-hearted people who nourished me and embraced me as their own. You know, so, so allow me to speak some Cantonese. Maybe some of our friends are listening. So I want to thank everybody. I want to thank to my funyingo, pong chong, yung way ni Titi Chido ga, hay mo di ka mission, mo di ka chiming, may hugandan, so yung to cha tayka, tapi ka hay mo di ka Hong Kong ka gawo yao. Don't worry, ang sinabi ko lang doon eh, salamat sa mga taga Hong Kong, thank you very much, and for accepting me and embracing me as one of their own. And then after 16 years, again another blessing that I was called to come back here in the Philippines to serve, especially our seminary and the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. And now I am working with the vocation office as a vocation director. And so yours truly now became part of the work of God as consecrated religious and at the same time as a religious who was sent for the mission. And I'm sharing it with you because I believe that we too are part of the mission of proclaiming the word to the world, witnesses of Jesus. And so we especially pray for vocation to the missionary life for brothers for priests, for sisters, for lay partners, and also help us in promoting the vocation. Uh, meron po tayong search-in na gagawin 
ngayong Sabado and then sa mga susunod pang Sabado is that we open our seminary. But of course, our seminary is always open naman. Now, for those who wants to collaborate with us, those who wanted to respond to the calling of Jesus and be consecrated and be sent. At kayo, you are part of this mission. Kung hindi man kayo naging maging pari, well, some of, here, some of us here are religious. No? Let us continue to pray for more people no? who will participate in the mission given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. So I thank the Lord. I thank you. I thank those who became part of my life for the 25 years of religious life, for the 17 years of being a priest, and of course, for the 48 years of my existence here on earth, my family, my teachers, my friends, my confers, and all those who prayed for me. So once again, we continue to pray for the mission. We continue to pray for more vocation. Amen.